I've always wanted to photograph on my mum's country, on Barkindji country. When I'm out walking, walking around, I'm listening and I'm feeling the wind, but I'm also looking, looking for evidence of where Aboriginal people have camped. And I think that's what's important, is to show country from from an Aboriginal perspective, then gives a sense of, of how that country has been walked and how that country has been cared for over many, many tens of thousands of years. Nikki Cumston is a photographer of Barkindji, Afghan and European descent. Her people, the Barkindji people, are from New South Wales. Nikki's photography deals with the environment in Australia. She's someone whose work we've shown in the past. We invited her back on a residency with Australia Council of the Arts. She does hand-coloured photography. I create all of the images on black and white film. So what I'm doing is I'm having the black and white negatives scanned at high resolution and then printing them out onto beautiful cotton rag paper or canvas. And then I'm hand colouring. So it's really a matter of imbuing that black and white print with a sense of what I either I remember or, or as a, a way of, of just creating something that's painterly, but it's still a photograph. And it's just about exploring and, and playing with colour. I love colour, I love mixing colour. You can never get exactly the, the colour of the light that you've photographed because you've got, it's a different medium, it's not nature. You, you're working with pigments and so you, you're always going to have a different sense of it than, than if it was just a straight colour photograph. But it's just an opportunity to work back into a print, to have that time. You get to know every little minute detail of that image because you're working it with brushes or with pencil or with crayon, but you're looking really closely at the print and you're, you're reacting to it. I can mix colours and I can have you know, a palette of colour ready, but once you apply it onto the paper, it's on there or onto the canvas, so you can't fully control it. It's, it's partially you know, just accepting the process for what it is and for what you're getting. Our artist residencies, which are sponsored by Australia Council for the Arts, are really about bringing Indigenous Australian artists to the University of Virginia and integrating them into the academic life of the university and also giving them the opportunity to make new work. So with Nikki, we wanted to use some of her specific talents and skills and um, present opportunities to students at the university to meet her and interact with her. She's having a hand coloring workshop in that way, students can learn from Nikki her process of hand coloring photographs on paper or canvas. Sometimes I'll use more of a bluey color because if it's in the background, because you know the blue always makes things recede off into the distance. I very much feel a sense of responsibility in sharing information. I've I really enjoy teaching and being an educator. But I also feel that it's important culturally to share stories of, of what I see and what I feel is important and where I feel there needs to be more recognition of Aboriginal people's connection to place.
One of the things that I think is so strong about Nikki's residency is that she's a um, natural teacher. She's really um, invested in teaching people about Indigenous Australian art. She does this as a living, you know, as a curator. And um, I think that her photography is also really about that. It's really about looking at the landscape from an Indigenous perspective and getting people to see things that they wouldn't normally see in her portrayal of the Indigenous landscape. This body of work is the first work that I created out on Barkindji country. The second time I, I visited was with my sister Zena and she stayed with me and that's her in this photograph. And Zena has been studying archaeology and cultural heritage, um, Aboriginal cultural um, heritage and so she was able to shed a light on, on what we were seeing in the, in the ground. There were shards of ancient tool making um, practices. So the, the shards were remnants of, of people making these stone tools. So we felt that, that it was appropriate to, to say that you know, our ancestors have, have been here, that, that they are very much still here, that their presence is here in, you know, on this country, in this landscape, there are all these shards that tell the story of them having been here for such a long period of time, many tens of thousands of years, and many different people walking and living on this country. I think it's our responsibility to inform people about heritage issues and to help share that information. And I think through photographing places and being out on country, I'm finding all sorts of evidence in the landscape of where Aboriginal people have been and I think that it would be terrific to have more archaeological surveys done on our country to be able to share that history to a broader and a wider audience and to have the appreciation for Aboriginal people's connection to country more widely acknowledged and accepted.